All right, we're back. Sorry about that. And unfortunately, I seem to have lost my goddamn legs. I'm just gonna stay back here and just constantly fucking throw her. I don't care. And also, I'm keeping my god mode on. Yeah, she goes right fucking through me. I knew it! It'd be way too easy if she didn't. Just keep on coming for me, that's all you want. Just come for me, bitches. I hate these fucking survive missions. It's not even my fault that I lose. It's the fault that the people are too stupid to live. Fuck, I do it again. All I gotta do is just wait them out. Then one god mode will fucking eradicate them. They're too pansy ass to come over and fight me themselves. Ah, oh, fucking yes. No, you don't, you son of a bitch. That was the first on the strikers next. I tell you, get back there! Attack me all you want. I don't care. As long as she survives, I don't care. Do I actually have to destroy the book? Oh my god, that'd be annoying. What if I could just like turn her to stone or something and just just lock her in place? Oh, now we're going diagonally? I don't fucking think so. Get back over here. Good thing it doesn't do any, like, actual damage to her. Because otherwise, that'd be really fucking annoying. Die! You get back over there. Looks I have nothing with actual range. Except that. You raise me up so I can survive this shit. No. She doesn't take up two spaces when there's an item. Another striker. How many of these assholes are there? Thank you. How 
was he able to defeat that many demons all by himself? That boy... He is not our equal. Yet to acquire enough power to give us pauses... Why? I killed that boy once, so why is he so powerful? Young one, I know not how you are alive. But I have learned one thing from this. The Fate Revolution Circuit toy that you have created is extremely dangerous. Still, a promise is a promise. I will act as though I did not see you. Power of Dark here! Friend! Farewell, little one. Next time, your life will be mine. Renya! Ow! <sighs> They'll act like they didn't see us, huh? That's quite the gift. Lilia? Hey, Lilia! Uh, are you unharmed, Lord? Yeah, mostly. Enough about me. Are you okay? Are... are you alright, Lilio? Yes. Barely. Thank you very much, Miss Minamo. What... what are... Please take care of my brother in your timeline. M Miss Minamo! Renya has a serious sister complex, you know. He wouldn't leave me alone for, like, a really long time. He depends on me. Like, I make his lunch every single day and iron his clothes, which he finds a way to wrinkle pretty much immediately. If he isn't being taken care of by a girl like you, Liliel, I'm gonna be worried sick. I might not be able to see him again. At least, the me that exists here, so... So please... Take care of Renya for me. Miss Minamo. Yes, I understand. Please entrust your brother to my care. <laughs> you heard her too, Renya. You'll be just fine. Just as you said, Minamo. I might not ever be able to see you again in this future. Even so... Yeah, yeah, ugh. You're gonna say something like, Our family bond can surely transcend time, right? Yuck! So embarrassing. Damn it. That was my sentimental touching moment. Don't lose against someone stupid like those devils, Renya. You gotta win, okay? I mean, I won't forgive you if you lose. All right, I'll win. No doubt about it. And I will secure our futures, too. A different future, where you and I will be living happily with Mom and Dad. Yeah, I have faith that you will. Okay, see ya, Renya. I love you. <laughs> I never expected you to actually inflict any damage. Is it rude for me to admit that I am actually happy about the miscalculation? You promised. Give me time to train. No matter how long you train, do you honestly think you will ever be able to best us? Of course I will. I'm Renya Kagurazaka's little sister, you know. I'll win, no doubt about it. And I will secure my future too. I bet Renya would say something like that. Fine by me. As promised, you may have your precious time. I look forward to our next meeting. Bariel Mikaido and Brunetti Renzuka. When you feel you are finished training, call those names, and they shall be. Whoa! 
Eliel, what happened? You're covered in bruises. I'm sorry, Liliel. This is because you had to protect me. No, please do not worry. I did what I am meant to do. Leave Liliel's treatment to me, Lord. There is something else you wish to discuss, correct? Sheriel, you... Forget it. You're right. Please take good care of her for me. Please forgive Neliel, Lord. She had a reason to select that wish. She wanted you to know that you could overturn the fate of your death with your own hands. And despite being in the Fate Revolution circuit, you expelled a grand number of powerful foes. We are truly convinced. Only you have the power to defeat Saitanael. Man, you sound so damn rehearsed. Is this how you flattered the past gods before you sent them out to die? <sighs> oh my, you already realized it? Well, it would be more odd if you never did think about it. What's up? What are you talking about? Kuroiel, I know you're new to this too, so you probably didn't realize that these angels have created several gods in the past. And then they forced those gods to fight in their selfish war against the devils and let them die. Well, am I wrong? It is just as you say. We have created many gods in the past by using the Fate Revolution circuit. Yes, we have made many different kinds of gods. The woman Rakiel still loves, she was also chosen to be god. You were all seriously doing something as terrible as that? Why'd you hide it? Hide? We hid nothing. If you had used your brain a little, it should have been obvious. Or maybe you felt the truth poking you in the backs of your minds, but you denied its existence. Maybe you were merely cowards. I... God, we know our actions are sinful. I can offer no excuses or beg forgiveness regarding the gods who have perished. However, know that the coming battle will also decide the fate of all humankind. Should the Devils win, the balance between Earth and the Divine Realm will surely be toppled, destroying your world as a result. Is that a threat? Threaten me or flatter me all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm just a high school kid, you know? You are no mere teenager. You hold within yourself the potential to achieve something no god in the past could dream of doing. At least, that is what I believe. No matter what you believe, it's not my concern. I'm going to ignore this burden. It's a bit too much. Future of humankind, the life or death of Earth, screw that. Even so, I'm still gonna keep fighting. I just want to get back to my normal life. I swear, I will never make Minamu feel like that again. Can you hear me? Preparations are complete. You may fight against God now. Show me who ranks higher, God or devils. Like with last time, I have already marked your path of entry. As long as you enter between border zones T and Y in the Casathelio frontier, you should have no problem finding the path. Do not underestimate God. He will do his utmost to hunt you down. Now then, Frunetti, I wish you the best of luck. You really do plan to go alone, do you? Yes. I apologize. Why? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh. You really won't say anything else to me? Sorry. 
This will not be an easy fight. It has been a while since our last encounter. That machine amplifies God's power a great deal. Yes, I am aware. But if we both go... Unacceptable. I must do this on my own. I need to prove that I am indeed a mighty being. I do this to support Lord Satanael. And to stand by your side. I understand. I will say no more. Take care, Variel. I will. Farewell. That's it for today's groceries. Jeez, even if I can slow down long enough to take a breath in this world, it's not calming me down at all. Stupid Liliel. I hope she's recovering without much pain. Ah, damn it. I can't calm down at all. Renya! Hey, sis. What's up? Uh, to be honest, there's someone I want to introduce you to. Um, what? This may come as a shock to you, and feel free to fall on your knees from surprise, but you have a fan in my middle school! No kidding. She was really persistent about getting me to introduce you to her. I mean, it's not like I care that my big brother is popular among a certain demographic or anything. I'm like, proud of you, but I also don't want to see you get all blushy and foot shuffly and crap. Got it? Stand up straight and act like a man. Don't gawk at her like she's a zoo animal. And like, seriously? Try not to drool? You got it. And now, the appearance of the mysterious, beautiful girl! Come on out, Shiratori! Fuuuuh! Uh, um, it's nice to meet you. Mr. Minamo's older brother? Sir? I I'm Lanael Shiratori. You! Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I asked such a selfish and impossible thing of Minamo. Uh, but, uh, well, I have certain feelings for you, Renya. Uh, I called him Renya! Uh. Shiratori? Okay, I'll do my best. Yeah, my very, very best. <sighs> I've... I've always had feelings for... for you, Renya. So, please take good care of me. Pass. What? Are you stupid or something? Renya, you're gonna say no to a cute girl who looks like a friggin' doll? And you refuse so fast. Dude, like, what a waste. Minamo, your brother is going to have a serious talk with this girl for a minute. Please, get out of earshot. Huh? Why? Not open for discussion. Just go over there. Shoo! 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 You're so lame. What was with that Mr. Brother crap? What could you possibly gain from putting on such a ridiculous act? <laughs> Did you enjoy my face? I don't think I'm benevolent enough to enjoy knowing that it's all an act. Aw, do not be so mad, Mr. Minamo's older brother. You must learn to be N-I-C-E to G-I-R-L-S. <laughs> My divine instincts are telling me that I will be forgiven if I punch you square in the face right now. Your little sister is sheepishly watching from a distance. 
If you do not mind her seeing it, though, please do as you like. <laughs> then let us descend to hell once more. I shall lift the curtains to reveal a bloodbath again tonight. Great of all the angels. I have to be stuck with the sociopath. Yeah, I really don't care about the colors. Effects are what actually matter. That trash. That. Got a lot of shrooms. Don't look in. Don't look into that too closely. Oh, you forgot my goddamn legs. Defense is always good. Offense is also good. No, I don't want to buy anything. into it, shall we? This is amazing! Liliel, how are you feeling? Oh, I am very sorry for making you worry about little old me. As you can see, I am a-okay now. Myself aside, I feel at fault for involving you in all this, Lord. Seriously, don't worry about it. This isn't your fault at all. I would say that my so-called destiny began at birth. I was given absolutely terrible luck with lotteries and such. But Lord... Just feel better for me. Depressed expression doesn't suit you at all, Liliel. Still. Wait. I have something else to say. No matter the debt you feel toward me, don't do something ridiculous like protect me by using your own body ever again. The last thing I ever want to see is you getting hurt because of me, Liliel. But but. It's my duty as your personal angel. I'm supposed to protect you. I've heard that one already. I hereby forbid you from taking any more self-sacrificial actions for my sake. B but there's no way I... Ugh, enough already. Can't you understand the simple heart of this simple young man? I don't want to be protected. I want to protect you. I want to protect Liliel. Got it? <gasps> B -b protect me? W what are you saying right now? I don't know what it is you're saying, and it makes no sense. And, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the coping strategy for such an outburst is, um, m my handy dandy manual has to, uh, um, What a ridiculous habit, whipping out that manual whenever something happens. You should have stopped doing that by now. Now then, God, I have chosen your wish to grant. 
Are you prepared for it? Either way, I have to get it done, right? <laughs> Correct. If you manage to return safely, I may give you a kiss as your reward. Like I said before, pass. It'd obviously be the kiss of death. <laughs> now then, God. Take care. I wish you the very best. Yuck. A kiss, huh? I wonder if she'll ever get sick of teasing me. Miss Ranael was acting a little bit different than she normally does. Really? She seemed the same to me. I hope it was merely my imagination. What are you going to do now, Lord? I'm gonna guide some fates, of course. No matter what kind of wish Laniel picks, my end goal remains the same, you know? I see. However, now that you have learned about Celestia's plan, Lord, my seniors will be pushing you even harder. I will do my very best to support you and be a useful ally. Even so, be careful. Yeah. And seriously, Liliel, don't do anything rash. Today's another beautiful day. Look at that gorgeous blue sky. On a day like this, there's no question that something amazing is going to happen. Oh, that made me think of a haiku. Beautiful blue skies, I so want to eat pudding like right this instant. Ah, uh, yep, that should do it. Well done, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 